Thank you. Uh, I can only dream of being on the platform. One day. One day. <laughs> we'll make it. Um, disabled people make up 20% of our population. That's a conservative estimate. We are kidney impairments, we are visible, we are old, we are gay, we are lesbian, we are black, we are white, we are all sorts of people. That's who we are. But what we are not is we are not victims, we are not scroungers or frauds. We are not We are fighters, survivors, leaders, comrades, brothers and sisters in arms, campaigners, citizens and equals. This, like the many of us, is not a new struggle. Our, our history is littered with disabled people being scapegoated, demonised, discriminated against and oppressed. It is also a history of disabled people fighting back against this. From the League of the Blind who unionised in the 19th century to fight for their rights, to the war veterans who marched on Whitehall with the jobs and respects they were due, to disabled people fighting to escape residential care in the 60s and 70s, forming the union of physically impaired against segregation, to those of us who chained ourselves to buses in the 80s and 90s to secure equality on public transport and in law. We have been here before. <laughs> However, we are faced with a horrific onslaught of attacks from all directions. The cuts that we're all talking about today, we encounter those cuts too, whether it's the increase in VAT, privatisation of our basic services of the NHS, of cuts affecting all the public sector. We experience them too as disabled people, but on top of that, we're having our benefits whipped from us. We're being assessed by bastards at ATOS. <laughs> charged with the basic right to have a we. Our independent living money that allows us to be independent within the community is being removed in four years' time. Incapacity benefit is being scrapped and replaced by the unforgiving ESA. Then on top of that, there is hate crime, limits to housing benefit, access to work, to transport, and if we want to challenge it, to legal aid too. That's fucked as well. <laughs> We are living in poverty, we are going to be living in the dark ages and a time between the deserving and the undeserving poor. But, we will not let this happen. Yeah. Because through our history, what we have learned is that the media, the policy makers and the government will try to separate us into our different groups. They will try and weaken us, they will try and make us compete against each other for whatever crumbs are on offer. Fighting amongst each other. In individualising this struggle, dividing us so that they may conquer and challenge the balance of society in favour of financial capital rather than social capital and equality. That's what's happening. We cannot afford to let this happen. We are fighting for our lives, for our freedom, for our existence. That's how important it is to disabled people and for everyone here today. It is about our basic liberties, our basic right to life. We will not be hidden away. We will not be hidden away behind closed doors, out of sight, out of mind, in our homes or institutions. We will not settle for charity rather than rights. We will not be forgotten. We will not be silent. We must mobilise, and in doing so, not forget those who cannot take to the streets in protest, but in, through virtual processing. We must politicise, we must educate ourselves and others in what's happening in our own and wider campaigns. We have to radicalise. This is about revolution, not reformation. Thank you.